Baking soda and salt are commonly used household ingredients, but they can also be effective in getting rid of pests depending on the type of pest and the specific circumstances. In this video, you'll learn the particular methods to remove certain types of pests. Let's get straight into it. Number 1. Fleas Baking soda dehydrates and kills flea larvae and eggs, preventing the outbreak from growing out of control. However, baking soda can't do it alone. Salt acts as an abrasive and damages and penetrates through the flea's exoskeleton. It also has moisture-absorbing qualities, helping to dehydrate the pests. For this method, you'll need to stock up to cover multiple areas of your home. So you're going to need active baking soda and not a box that you've had open for a month or more, along with table salt and a vacuum cleaner. If possible, put animals away from your treatment zone. While the mixture won't cause serious harm, if they have open wounds, the salt can be painful. Next, make an equal mixture of salt and baking soda liberally on your carpet or affected area and leave it overnight to dehydrate the larvae and eggs. Then vacuum the carpet thoroughly and then clean your canister or bag carefully so you don't accidentally let the fleas out again. Finally, repeat the process again in a few days, which is when any leftover eggs would hatch and cause additional problems. Number 2. Bed Bugs Before applying this remedy for bed bugs, it's crucial to thoroughly clean the affected areas. Remove clutter, vacuum carpets, rugs, and upholstery, and wash all bedding, linens, and clothing in hot water. Next, combine equal parts baking soda and salt in a bowl. The idea behind this mixture is that the abrasive texture of salt will help to dehydrate and kill bed bugs, while baking soda could disrupt their exoskeleton and cause them to dry out. Sprinkle the baking soda and salt mixture liberally around areas where bed bugs are present, such as along baseboards, underneath furniture, and around the perimeter of the bed. Focus on cracks and crevices where bed bugs may hide. Allow the mixture to remain in place for several days to a week. During this time, periodically reapply the mixture as needed, especially if you vacuum or clean the area. After the allotted time has passed, vacuum up the baking soda and salt mixture along with any dead bed bugs and their eggs. Be sure to empty the vacuum bag or canister immediately into a sealed plastic bag and dispose of it outside to prevent any live bed bugs from escaping. Number 3. Ants Using baking soda and salt to get rid of ants is a popular DIY method. To start with, determine where the ants are entering your home. Common entry points include cracks in walls, gaps around doors and windows, and holes in the foundation. In a bowl, mix equal parts baking soda and salt. Some people also add powdered sugar to this mixture as it attracts ants, but it's optional. Sprinkle the baking soda and salt mixture along ant trails, entry points, and areas where you've seen ant activity, Focus on places where ants are likely to forage for food. Repeat the application every few days, especially after rain or if you notice ants returning. You may also need to reapply the mixture if it gets wet or is disturbed. If you can locate ant nests outdoors, apply the baking soda and salt mixture directly to the nests. This can help to kill off the ants at the source. Number 4. Cockroaches Baking soda and salt can be used to get rid of cockroaches. Baking soda expands in the gut of cockroaches and causes drastic pressure when they drink water since their exoskeleton doesn't allow them to expand and this can kill cockroaches. Salt's crystalline structure resembling needles can latch onto and damage the cockroach's exoskeleton, leading to dehydration. To make this concoction in a bowl, combine equal parts baking soda and salt. Some people also add a small amount of powdered sugar to attract the cockroaches as they may be drawn to the sugar. Determine where the cockroaches are most active in your home. Common areas include kitchens, bathrooms, and areas with food or water sources. You can also sprinkle the baking soda and salt mixture in areas where you've seen cockroach activity, such as along baseboards, behind appliances, and in cracks and crevices where cockroaches may hide. Repeat the application every few days, especially if you notice cockroach activity returning or if the mixture gets wet or is disturbed. Number 5. Slugs and Snails Using baking soda and salt to get rid of slugs is a popular method. In a bowl, combine equal parts baking soda and salt. The abrasive texture of salt deters slugs while baking soda dehydrates them, making your garden less appealing to these pests. Determine where the slugs are most active in your garden or yard. 
Common areas include damp, shady spots and around plants that slugs like to feed on. Sprinkle the baking soda and salt mixture around areas where you've seen slug trails or where you suspect slugs may be hiding. Focus on areas near plants you want to protect and along pathways where slugs are likely to travel. Be cautious, though, when applying baking soda and salt near plants, as they can be sensitive to high concentrations of salt. Avoid direct contact with plant foliage and roots. Number 6. Weevils Baking soda and salt can deter weevils or disrupt their movement. Mix equal parts baking soda and salt in a bowl. Determine where the weevils are most active in your home. Common areas include pantry shelves, cabinets, and food storage containers. Next, sprinkle the mixture in pantry shelves in areas where weevils are present. Reapply the mixture regularly, especially after cleaning pantry shelves. The mixture disrupts the digestive system of weevils when consumed, leading to their demise. In addition to using baking soda and salt, consider implementing other weevil control methods to enhance effectiveness. This may include proper food storage practices such as using airtight containers, freezing infested items to kill weevils and their eggs, and regularly cleaning and inspecting pantry shelves and cabinets. Number 7. Silverfish Using baking soda and salt to get rid of silverfish is a DIY method that can offer help in deterring these pests. Baking soda can dehydrate them and deter their movement, and salt can irritate the exoskeletons of silverfish, ultimately leading to their dehydration and death. Combine equal parts baking soda and salt in a bowl. Determine where the silverfish are most active in your home. Common areas include bathrooms, kitchens, basements, and areas with high humidity. Sprinkle the baking soda and salt mixture in areas where you've seen silverfish activity, such as along baseboards, in corners, behind appliances, and in dark, damp areas. Repeat the application every few days, especially if you notice silverfish actively returning or if the mixture gets disturbed or removed. In addition to using baking soda and salt, consider implementing other silverfish control methods to enhance effectiveness. This may include reducing humidity levels in your home, sealing cracks and gaps to prevent silverfish entry, and removing sources of moisture and food that attract them. Number 8. Moths To get rid of moths, mix baking soda with salt and dried bay leaves. Focus on areas where clothing and fabrics are stored, as moths are attracted to natural fibers like wool and silk. Place sachets of the mixture in closets, drawers, and pantry shelves. Replenish the sachets regularly to maintain their effectiveness. The combination acts as a natural repellent for moths, helping to deter them from infesting clothes and pantry items. Number 9. Drain Flies A great DIY solution for taking care of drain flies is creating a cleaning solution of baking soda, salt, and vinegar. Vinegar causes baking soda to expand, which will help perform a deeper clean of your drains. Create this mixture by combining half a cup of salt, half a cup of baking soda, and one cup of vinegar, then pour it down your drain. Leave this mixture overnight and flush with hot water in the morning. Your drain fly problem will then be a thing of the past. Number 10. Earwigs Using baking soda and salt to get rid of earwigs dries out the exoskeletons of earwigs, causing dehydration and death. In a bowl, combine equal parts baking soda and salt. While baking soda and salt may not directly kill earwigs, they will deter them from certain areas. Determine where the earwigs are most active in your home or garden. Common areas include damp, dark spaces such as basements, bathrooms, kitchens, and areas with mulch or dense vegetation outdoors. Sprinkle the baking soda and salt mixture in areas where you've seen earwig activity, such as along baseboards, in cracks and crevices, and around the perimeter of your home or garden. Focus on areas where earwigs are likely to hide or travel. Number 11. Mice and Rats Baking soda and salt disrupts the digestive system of mice and rats when consumed, causing a gas buildup in the stomachs of rats leading to their demise. Mix equal parts baking soda, salt, and sugar or chocolate powder to entice them to eat it. Sprinkle the mixture in areas where rodents frequent, such as along baseboards, along walls, and in dark corners. Number 12. Mosquito Larva The amount of baking soda and salt will depend on the size of the water, but you can sprinkle this mixture in standing water to help prevent mosquitoes from breeding. 
So sprinkle the mixture in standing water sources where mosquito larvae breed, such as ponds, bird baths, and stagnant pools. Reapply the mixture regularly, especially after it rains or if it gets washed away. The mixture disrupts the larvae's ability to breathe underwater, leading to their death. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies. And don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to effectively get rid of pests with Dawn Dish Soap. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.